Uh, next question is from Internet Ghost, who's been a trailblazer slash regular slash just a very active person for a long time. So very appreciated. And they have a really good question. This one I did see beforehand, and I did get some time to process. Okay, Internet Ghost says, if you had to choose between the two options for a conversation, would you use SMS or WhatsApp? I think they're saying that for a lot of people who are privacy conscious, this will come down to their options for people who don't use Signal. So from there, you know, I think, okay, the scenario here, I'm going to repaint this. I use Signal as my main messenger. It could be any other like nice end-to-end -end encrypted messenger that you all use. Let's say a family member doesn't want to use it. And then I'm now left with the choice of SMS or WhatsApp. What do I choose? I personally don't have a WhatsApp account. Now, keep in mind, I'm in the US. The WhatsApp isn't as popular in the US. And I actually use a VOIP number for my SMS. And so actually for me, the three options I have is Signal, iMessage, and an SMS. And of course, iMessage has the core limitation of only being compatible with my Apple devices slash other people's Apple devices, which is a, an annoying, frustrating limitation because it's actually not a terrible messenger if it was compatible on all platforms. And I would say it's better than WhatsApp, better than SMS, but nowhere near as good as Signal. So I think that if I was in a country where A, iMessage wasn't as popular, and B, WhatsApp was the main default, I would probably say that WhatsApp would probably be the next thing. Um, and I would probably still do the same workflow I have right now. So I kind of say both because at least in the US, a lot of people don't, a lot of people use iMessage and a lot of people don't use iMessage. And that's dependent on whether or not you have an iPhone. And so for me, it's let's use Signal. If they say no, oh, do you have an iPhone? Then great, I have uh, an iMessage account that's tied to an email, which is really cool, by the way. I don't know if people know that about iMessage, but you can pretty much make your email and you can add emails to your iMessage account so that people just reach out to different emails. And I have different emails set up for different use cases. So um, there could be one for work, one for personal, one for friends, one for family, and you can have different emails in your iCloud account and people can reach out to any of them and they all end up in your single iMessage experience. I see someone sending hearts. Thank you. I guess you really like what I'm saying. It's <laughs> awesome. Um, but from there, if they say, no, I don't use an iPhone, I have an Android device, then great. I have a VOIP account that I can use to message anyone and it's unlimited and it's fantastic. So that's my approach to it. It's like best end-to-end -end encryption, next best end-to-end -end encryption. And then if they don't have that, then SMS. And that supplies outside of the US as well. But it's really just, you know, you're debating over nitpicky things because WhatsApp still has a lot of issues. Um, I'm not going to say that WhatsApp is a great option. Um, but WhatsApp or SMS is also a really bad option too. And at least one of them has basic end-to-end -end encryption. So that's my take, but I don't think there's a right answer here and everyone's gonna probably disagree a little bit on what they would do. Hey there, thanks for watching this TechLore clip. I just wanted to say, if you enjoyed this content, we have many other clips on this channel that you can get subscribed to. Otherwise, you can check out our full channel at TechLore where we talk about digital rights, privacy, security, open source, Linux, and many other exciting topics to keep you safer online. We'll see you over there and we hope you enjoyed this clip.